Hello! So before we get started, I figured I might say something a little little bit about myself. My name is Destiny Angel Hubble. I'm a junior here at U of I. I'm a saxophone performance major with a jazz studies minor. I've been involved in many jazz bands and jazz combos, saxophone quartets, concert bands, and I am the secretary of the saxophone club. I started playing saxophone in seventh grade after moving to Idaho and just never stopped. Loved it too much. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the musicians that I really enjoy and I think are just great jazz musicians and that everyone should know. So the first group I wanted to talk about is the International Sweethearts of Rhythm. The band initially got their start after Lawrence Clifton Jones started an all-girls swing band as a fundraiser for their school. The band was named by Jones because the girls playing in the band were all from different nationalities. This all-girl band was so popular one of their managers, Jesse Stone, recalls a time during a storm a group of anxious fans waited out in the rain to see the Sweethearts play. He said, I've never seen a bunch of people stand out for Duke Ellington like that. The band ended up touring in the United States and parts of Europe for several years during the big band era. So the next figure I would like to talk about is the talented saxophonist V. Red. She was most popular during the 60s. During her form formative years, Red got her start from doing jams with the other kids in her school and neighborhood, including people like Eric Dolphy. V. Red recorded two albums in her time, the first being Bird Call, a tribute to Charlie Parker, and the second being Lady Soul, where she plays and sings some of her original tunes. Along with recording albums, Red toured America and Europe um, with people worthy of note, such as Count Basie's orchestra. So the third person I would like to talk about is Camille Thurman. Camille Thurman is primarily a tenor saxophone, but also sings and doubles on the flute. Camille Thurman has put out three albums since 2013. She recently became a permanent member of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra, or JLCO as some might know, um, which is led by Wynton Marcellus, the great trumpeter. Not only does Thurman play saxophone, but she runs a YouTube channel where she has conversations with other music musicians that are popular right now. The last thing to note is Camille Thurman will be headlining the Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival in the spring of 2021, so make sure you get your tickets. The fourth person I would like to address is the great Roxy Koss. Roxy Koss plays tenor saxophone and also composes pieces for herself and her quintet to perform. Roxy Koss is a New York-based jazz artist, teaches at Berkeley University, and has recorded five records as a band leader. Roxy Koss also founded the Women in Jazz Organization, or WeJo, and is on the board of directors for the Jazz Education Network, or GEN. Finally, the last group I wanted to talk to you all about is the Diva Jazz Orchestra. The Diva Jazz Orchestra was founded by Stanley Kay. This group is an all-female group currently led by Terry Lee Carrington. This group features many amazing female jazz artists, including Roxy Koss from before and is based in New York. The Diva Jazz Orchestra frequently plays at Lincoln Center and has released one album as a tribute to their founder. Thanks for hanging with me and learning about some groups and saxophonists. Be sure to check out their albums on YouTube or Spotify. I will, also, I will also have a few of their websites linked below. Lastly, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Destiny Angel Music, where I post videos of what I'm practicing and occasionally post about musicians I'm learning about. Thanks!